Each blow from Julie Glaspie's chisel transforms this slab of granite. The sculpture is destined for the International Children's Memorial Place near Kinkora. The family emerging on the face of the stone is incomplete. A hole cut in the shape of a child tells the story. And we've chosen a silhouette of a family walking into the park to represent a families that go through this loss. And we've done a child cutout to allow the light in so we can uh, start the healing process. That hole is still rough, but in coming weeks, its shape and its message will be refined. Krista Siliker knows the rough edges of grief. Her daughter, Brianna, was killed four years ago at the age of 16. Brianna was uh, leaving home to go pick up her sister in Kensington and uh, was involved in a motor vehicle collision in our driveway. And that was November 4, 2010. And uh, she was killed instantly. And uh, she was in her graduating year of high school. Krista and her husband Wade have planted a tree in memory of Brianna. Krista now serves as a volunteer with the International Children's Memorial Place. She says it's all part of dealing with the loss of her daughter, and she hopes the sculpture may help others. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. It's not quite at its finished stage yet, but it's a rough carving of the family, and it's just lovely. I just love the meaning of it. The workspace inside a barn was donated. The cutting tools are on loan from an artist co-op in New Brunswick. The $30,000 project is about halfway to completion. When you enter the park now, this is going to be there, and it's going to be a, a, a something for peace for all of us families who have lost children. The sculpture should be complete and ready for installation next month. Brian Higgins, CBC News, Charlottetown.